Welcome to the session on shape functions in finite element analysis. Let's consider a bar loaded at one end and fixed at other. We can see the deformation at each point is different. Maximum displacement at one end and least or zero displacement at the other. The value of deformation or we can call it as displacement also the value of displacement at the intermediate points are varying gradually from one end to other. Finding displacement at every point on the bar is a tedious one. So here we use finite element analysis. Finite element analysis actually restricts finding the solution at certain points only. These points are called nodal points or simply nodes. The given bar is discretized into three elements with four nodes, node 1, 2, 3 and 4. In finite element analysis, the field variable, in this case the displacement or deformation, displacement will find at these four nodes only. After finding the displacement at four nodes, the results are approximated by means of any approximation function. Here the results are interpolated by linear function. This approximation or interpolation function is called shape function. We can see that this finite element analysis results in a near solution of the actual one which is shown in the left side. We can refine the result by using higher order functions like quadratic, cubic, etc. other than linear function. But as the order of interpolation function increases, the calculation becomes complex. So we can say that shape function is an interpolation function which interpolates the solution values obtained at the nodal points. Let's find the expression for shape function for one dimensional two noted bar element. Consider an element of length L with two nodes, node 1 and node 2. Let u1 and u2 be the displacement at the two nodes. If the displacement at the nodal points u1 and u2 are known, then the displacement at any point on the element throughout the length L can be found out by the equation u equal to n1 u1 plus n2 u2, where n1 and n2 are the shape functions at node 1 and 2 and u1 and u2 are the displacements at the node 1 and 2. We can represent this equation in matrix form u equal to n1 n2 into u1 u2. The displacement matrix is a column matrix. The column matrix usually are represented in braces or curly brackets. This element is a one dimensional element that means the nodes can displace in one dimension only which means each node has one degree of freedom only. So total of two degree of freedom for this element. Number of degrees of freedom determines the number of constant coefficients in the function. Here degrees of freedom is two. So two constant coefficients or two generalized coordinates will be here. Therefore displacement at any point u of x equal to a1 plus a2x a1 and a2 are the generalized coordinates or constant coefficients. We can rewrite this equation in matrix form u of x equal to 1x into a1 a2. Let it be equation number 2. So if we want to find the displacement at any point x, we should know the constant coefficients a1 and a2. Let's find the constant coefficients a1 and a2 by applying the boundary conditions at node 1 and node 2. At node 1 x equal to 0 and displacement u equal to u1. Applying the boundary condition in equation 1, we will get u1 equal to a1 plus 0. That means u1 equal to a1. At node 2, the value of x equal to L and value of displacement equal to u2. Applying in equation 1, u2 equal to a1 plus a2 L. So we have the expression for displacement at node 1 and node 2 in terms of 
the constant coefficients a1 and a2. So we have to find the values of a1 and a2. We can rewrite in matrix form u1, u2 equal to a1 and a2 are common. So put it in curly bracket or column matrix a1, a2 into 1, 0, 1, l. That means u1, u2 equal to 1, 0, 1, l into a1, a2. So let's find the value of a1, a2. a1, a2 equal to inverse of 1, 0, 1, l into u1, u2. In case of 2 by 2 matrix, by interchanging the diagonal elements and changing the signs of off diagonal elements. That means L0 minus 1, 1. Determinant of matrix L minus 0, that means L. So we'll get A1, A2 equal to 1 by L into L0 minus 1, 1, U1, U2. Multiplying the terms, we'll get 1, 0 minus 1 by L, 1 by L into U1, U2. Let's substitute the value of a1, a2 in equation number 2. That means u of x equal to 1x a1, a2. We can rewrite it as u of x equal to 1x into 1, 0, minus 1 by L, 1 by L, u1, u2. Multiplying the terms, u of x equal to 1 minus x by L, x by L into u1, u2. We have already seen that displacement at any point u equal to n1 u1 plus n2 u2 or in matrix form n1 n2 into u1 u2. That means the value of n1 and n2 shape functions at node 1 and node 2 are 1 minus x by l and x by l. Let's take an example. A two noded 80 mm length element is given. The displacement at node 1 and node 2 are given as 0 and 0 0.2 millimeter and we have to find the deflection of the beam at a point 20 meter from the left end that means x equal to 20. The given data are displacement at node 1 equal to 0, displacement at node 2 equal to 0 0.2 millimeter. We know that the displacement at any point x in matrix form equal to n1 n2 into u1 u2. We can represent the shape function n1 and n2 in terms of x and l x is given as 20 mm and l the total length is given as 80 mm and u1 and u2 displacement at node 1 and node 2 are given so that means u of x equal to 1 minus x by l x by l into u1 u2 substituting the values x equal to 20 and l equal to 80 u1 and u2 are 0 and 0 0.2 and we will get the final value 0 0.05 millimeter